What's up? My name's Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the paging file error that you could be getting inside of Call of Duty Warzone, saying something about your computer has run out of memory or paging file memory. What can we do to fix this? Well, it's incredibly simple. First of all, hit the start key or windows key on your keyboard and then immediately type in performance. Simply click adjust the appearance and performance of windows and a new window will open up. Inside of here, simply head across to the advanced tab at the very top and then simply click change under the virtual memory section. After doing this, you'll see this new window on your screen. All you have to do is make sure that automatically managed paging file size for all drives is checked, then hit OK, OK, apply, and then finally OK. At this point, you need to restart your computer completely and then your issue should be fixed inside of Warzone. If you're still having an issue for some reason, you can click change and inside of this window, uncheck automatic, then click on your C drive and make sure that system managed size is turned on. Then click OK, apply, OK and reboot your computer once again, then see if your issue is solved. Basically, the paging file is an overflow file where if your computer runs out of physical RAM, i.e. memory, then it will immediately start writing to this file instead of crashing out completely. If this file is too small and you've filled up your RAM completely, your PC will suffer terribly. Hence, the paging file exists. If this file's maximum size is too small and your RAM is too small to run whatever program you're running, it will crash out and not work properly, hence sometimes the error. Enabling this automatic sizing lets the file take more space as it's needed, depending on how much RAM you have and how much free disk space you have. Speaking of, Open up your Windows File Explorer and make sure that your C drive has a good amount of space left on it. If you have multiple different drives, try moving some of your games and other bulky files off of your C drive where Windows is installed and place them onto other hard drives. Doing this will allow your PC to not only perform better, give you higher FPS, but it'll also prevent this paging file error. Assuming for some reason that this hasn't fixed your issue, number one, try bringing up the Task Manager with Control Shift and Escape then heading across to the performance tab and finally the memory tab over here. I have a huge amount of RAM on my PC, but what you need to do is make sure that all of the physical RAM sticks in your computer are showing up here. You can see how many slots are used down here. I've got four separate sticks of 32 gigabytes each. And in the top right, as you can see, 128 gigs, everything showing as it's supposed to be. If for some reason you notice that one or a few of your RAM sticks aren't displaying or aren't displaying properly, all you need to do is turn off your computer and if you're comfortable, open it up, remove the RAM and reseat it to make sure that it's properly inserted as moving your computer around can cause it to come loose and hence disconnect from Windows, not allowing you to use the physical RAM that you've paid for, which could be something that leads to this issue. And finally, try updating Windows and your graphics card driver of course, and on top of this, inside of the Blizzard launcher, navigate across to Call of Duty Warzone at the very top, or by clicking All Games, then locating it on the All Games list over here, and click the Settings wheel next to Play, then click Scan and Repair. This will run through all of the files on your computer and repair them if anything appears different to the official version of the game on their servers. At this point, everything should be fixed and if you're still having issues, make sure to leave a comment down below and see if anyone else is available to help you. However, if you're still having issues, I do wish you luck in finding a solution. If you do find a solution, make sure to return back to the comments as your comment may help someone else experiencing the same issue as you. But that's about it for this video. If you've been experiencing this problem, this should be the end all solution for you. Thank you for watching. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!